with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big pickup of 38. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. I think that typically we expect teams to save their home run plays for later in the game when they feel like they have an advantage over a defense. But in this case, they thought they had the advantage right away and took the shot on the first play of the game and completed it successfully. First and 10 at the 25-yard line. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. He'll get this to his tight end, it's Jonu Smith. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Pardon me to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heat. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Jonu Smith. There to make the grab. And the Titans take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. And this is good. Our score, 7-0 Tennessee. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it ends with a Tennessee score. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. 25-yard line. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. The 40. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Detroit. Kenny Galladay, 75 yards. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. We, less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially... We're back to even, aren't we? Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On first down, Tannehill. This one caught by Davis. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 23 yards on the play. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. And they do get this across midfield of the 49, but a small consolation prize as he's well short of the first. Got the completion, but it certainly wasn't on his time frame. Hurried on that play. Absolutely. The pressure affected him. Unable to get it further downfield. 
The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 right at the 30. After the interception, here's Stafford. Open man is Galladay, complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And boy, showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. A seven-yard pickup. Brings up second and three. Throwing on second and three. Stafford gets it quickly to Galladay. Stafford's pass complete to Kenny Galladay. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. He's got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 24. He's at the 40. The 20. 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Touchdown. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Goskowski with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Steven Goskowski is set to kick off. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. And this will wind up a Lions first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First down, Detroit. Now Stafford. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Swift is hit, and he coughs it up. And this Tennessee defense for the second straight play gets him behind the line. They're not messing around. Wow. That ball is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. First down. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he's got some space here. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. First down, Lions. Running is Swift. And he loses the football a second time. DeAndre Swift, the ball carrier. 
fumble so it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. From the gun on third down, Stanford fighting through pressure. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And we say it all the time, you have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term, complimentary football, because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance, if they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the nine-yard line. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. At the nine yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Tannehill, quick slant to Brown. And he is able to take this way down into Detroit territory. A big play there on the catch and run, and even 80 yards. First and 10 at the 11 yard line. the end of the first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Seven. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Tannehill now to throw. And right side, Henry's got it. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. That catch good for only a couple. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The line... And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? This taken in about four yards deep. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. He'll get this one to Galladay. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 27-yard line. A gain of 12. And the Lions' first down. The shotgun snap for Stafford. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Second and 10 now from the 27. It leads to second and 10 to throw again. Stafford. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. Complete He'll wind up three. losing three. And now it's third He's down. down. The line of scrimmage. <laughs> Throwing again at Stafford. Amendola catching it left side. Stafford's pass. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Raider on for the field goal. 
A 41-yard attempt. And the 13-year man puts it through. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to the goal line, things stiffened a little bit towards the field goal. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Here comes Ryan Tannehill now leading his offense back out there. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, does that interception, even though you're playing while well, your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, that'll tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, because he's looked pretty good to this point. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's Tannehill. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Brown. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. A first down carry for Henry. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Nice carry there by Derrick Henry. Picks up a first down. I and mean, when you say workhorse, you're thinking about Derrick Henry. He won the rushing title in 2019 with 1,540 yards on the ground and 16 rushing touchdowns. Went to his first Pro Bowl and carried his team to the AFC Championship game. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. They'll try to run for it with Henry. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal as some good running there gets him down to about the two-yard line. Knock it on the door. A good run, eight yards there, and it'll be second and goal. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Got a man in taken in for a Titans touchdown. Corey Davis there to make the grab. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. And they're able to up the lead by one more. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Here's a second and two now from the 33. From the gun, here's Stafford. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Goal at the 7-yard line. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the Titans are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. Second and goal from the one. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Derrick Henry with his second touchdown here in this. 
this first half. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. And this carries into the end zone. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. They'll contain him to just four, second down. A game at four. It's now second and six. Again, it's Stafford. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. To the air again, Stafford. On Stafford for the third time is intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. He was covered by Malcolm Butler. Throwing again. Stafford. It's caught outright Amendola. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. From the gun on third down, Stafford. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here's Jack Fox now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Clock at 20 seconds to go in the half as they come up first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. At the 21-yard line. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now Tannehill. And he's got his man in stride, complete. 
And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. On first down, it's Tannehill. He's going deep for Brown. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. They were trying to go to Brown once again, but it'll be second down. At the 40-yard line. The final shot here before the break, Tannehill. Back to Brown, this time complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw Derrick Henry muscle his way through a strong first half. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. set to kick off. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. That's fielded on the back line of the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Getting set to go again, Matthew Stafford trots back onto the field, and he's looking to take much better care of the football here in half two after three first-half interceptions. We don't have to just look strictly at the numbers here. You know what else happens to a team when you turn it over three times like that? It erodes confidence in you, and it confidence in the offense and now you have the defensive guys looking over and saying what is going on here and instead of playing for the team they're playing angry and mad at their teammates on second down swift a gain of five good enough for the first down brandon i think you and i were both raised the same way in the game of football you run to set up the pass but i think we've discovered in this nfl a lot of teams pass to set up the run and that's what they've done throughout this now a loose football the ball comes out it's picked up by the titans and the return here is stopped at the 35 yard line there are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you get defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Tannehill. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Touchdown, Titans! Three touchdown passes now for Ryan Tannehill. And the fumble recovery leads to six points for the Titans. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. Goskowski set to kick off. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. An extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. And it's third. Out of the gun, 
Stafford. He's got his man, TJ Hawkinson. And he is going to have the Lions first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Stafford to his second year tight end, Hawkinson, for a Lion first down. Operating from the gun. Stafford, throw left side, taken in by Galladay. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. First down. From the gun, here's Swift. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 yards there, just like last play. The Blocking at the point of attack there was very strong. He had a couple of running lanes. And I never want to overlook the offensive line, but that's what they get paid to do. How about the quarterback? Everyone thinks all he's going to do is throw the football. His movement and deception can help a running game as well. Well, he made that catch knowing full well that at the end of it, he's going to catch a pretty good lick. I guess if there's anyone on this team that can absorb a pop, it's him. Stafford throws complete to Galladay, and he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 23. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. On first down, at Stafford. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. Detroit. They'll run with Swift, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A three-yard touchdown run, and the Lions are able to cut into this lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Prater for the extra point, and that will cut this lead down to 25. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Raymond on the return. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. Still well in control of this ball game despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Henry, the ball carrier. Deron Harmon on the tackle. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 33-yard line. From the gun, here's Tannehill. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one, and they've certainly been on point throughout. And they hook up again for another big play. On first and 10, Tannehill. And this is caught at the 8. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of... That'll be caught by Brown. Touchdown, Tennessee. Make that now four touchdown passes for Ryan Tannehill. And this Titans offense continues to pour it on. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So that drive, four plays. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. Set to kick off. 
Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. And Detroit getting set to go now. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Stafford on first down. Over the middle, it's Amendola. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good end game going. DeAndre it's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this stand? It's third down. Throwing on third down. Stafford will try and set up the screen to Swift. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on here to punt it away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. They decide against going for it on fourth and one, maybe to the dismay of their offense, but hey, a nice consolation prize down inside the five. Nice consolation prize indeed. So maybe the offense is upset, but they showed confidence in their defense by punting it away. The Titans offense set to begin the drive, and they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. 17. Again, it's Henry. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Good for a Tennessee no doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. At the 50-yard line. From the 50, it's Tannehill. Well, it's caught on the right side, it's Smith. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. That's a game. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. 
big target, guy you can spot pretty easily, put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. That's good. He'll get a couple yards on that one, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. They keep it with Henry on first down. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. right Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Give him six yards in the first down. That carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. They'll get this complete to Batson. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 16. 11 more yards there. This methodical drive continues. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown run as his guys continue to pour it on. Well, where our booth is here, we can see all of the writers to our left, and their post-game stories, Charles, they have been filed for some time, because this game, boy, is it lopsided. Yeah, we can see our guy Scoop. He's even got his fedora tipped over his face. I think he's taking a nap now. Nothing left to write for him, but how gratifying has it been for them to see what they've done in practice, and carry it into a game and see the execution be so good. They've got to feel fantastic about what they've accomplished in this one. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if somebody got, there got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Now left side on the swing pass. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Second and 10, Stafford again. He gets this complete to Cephas. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 24-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Now a first down throw. Stafford toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Brings up second and 10. At the to throw again. Stafford, a slant to Jones. Stafford, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And the Lions are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. Give them a gain of four. Able to convert. And that sets up first and goal now. To the air again. Stafford. This will be caught at about the... The stop will come inside the five at the four. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. 
at the four-yard line. Throwing again at Stafford. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you to the end zone, get you six? Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. 16 yards right off the bat with a first down. Brendan, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission, is not he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Titans are winners here as we say so long from Nashville.